हे गाइज टुडे आई विल बी टॉकिंग यू थ्रू दिस डिटेल्ड वॉटर कलर पेंटिंग ऑफ अ बैक वाटर कैनाल एंड दीज आर द आर्ट मटीरियल आई हैव यूज इन द पेंटिंग Welcome to my new video. Watercolor is my favorite medium to paint. So more often than not, I find myself painting with watercolor. Here I'm using a reference picture from Pinterest, which is my go-to app for painting inspiration. I was looking for an image full of nature and greenery when I stumbled upon this beautiful picture of this backwater canal in Kerala. So firstly, I'm making a rough sketch with pencil. drawing in detail only the subject in the illustration which is the boat and the people on it for the rest i try to get an outline of what would lie where uh, you don't need to be very precise here these are the parts which do not make or break your painting they are flexible and don't demand control at this stage try not to be bogged down in minute details for the whole drawing Let's start off with the painting process. Initially, I'll do a wet on wet wash that will form the first layer of the painting. For this, I wet the surface with clean water using a mop brush as it retains a lot of water. Then we start painting with little color on the brush because the wash is meant for the lightest layer in the process. Here I'm uh, putting down the basic colors and shapes to depict greenery. Make sure to paint while the paper is still wet. Once the paper has dried, we will add layers of paint to the paper we do this after the paper has dried to ensure sharp edges and details dried paper gives us more control over the outcome as opposed to wet on wet where the color flows on the thin skin of water this process of putting an additional layer of paint on an already dried layer is the wet on dry watercolor technique i start my painting process with the parts which do not demand precision and generally involve a lot of scope for randomness and mostly these are the farthest objects in the painting from the viewer starting with these parts help me to put them on the first layer which is generally done by wet on wet technique this gives me the blurry look which signifies distance so it works perfect for me now i am wetting the paper again near the boat to put some light color in the background Whenever you feel you have put more color on the paper than you wanted to, just wet the brush with clean water and use it to wipe out the extra color from the paper. But don't use too much water in the brush while doing this. When the surface has dried, we paint in detail using round brushes. Uh, you'll see I keep on changing the brushes of different sizes depending on the precision required. Now that I have black color on my brush. I will use it in the nearby areas too where I know it's needed. Instead, if I change the color on my brush to complete the head first, I will end up wasting black as I would wash it. Uh, you will see me doing this throughout the video as it saves color as well as time and effort to keep on changing colors.
For detailing, I use round brushes, generally smaller than size 3. For very minute details, I like using 3x0 or 000 brush size. Different brands have different nomenclature. To get even uniform color throughout, you can use a mop brush. Mop brushes are the specialty of retaining large amounts of water and color and this helps in painting over a large area with a consistent flow. I used a little bit of white and grey to give the boat old, rusty, filthy look on the sides. Using a white jelly roll every now and then helps in increasing the contrast and makes it appealing. I often use it. There are plenty of times when we make mistakes while painting, but you can always use a clean wet brush or tissue to wipe out color from the paper while it is still wet. I am adding more and more black color on the board until I get the desired effect. Time for the tourists now. The rule remains lighter colors first, followed by the darker ones.
Here comes the wet on wet again. While painting foliage and bushes, it becomes important to first do wet on wet so that it sets the stage for further detailed work if need be. If we paint on the dry surface directly, it would seem like a flat painting with no depth. I think the beauty of watercolor as a medium is that the water paints half of the painting for you. The randomness with which the color moves in the small pools of water on paper is inimitable. This makes each painting so unique with a blend of artists controlled strokes as well as the random moods of water. Now that the paper is relatively dry, I am putting down some darker shades of green. You can see how the concept of layers is turning out on the left side as more and more paint is added after the layer beneath is dried. It is clearly visible how the light colors we painted initially depict distant elements while darker and brighter ones depict proximity. Let's do similarly for the right hand side.
now painting the leaves that have turned orange always keep this fine detail work for the end it's like garnishing your painting when most of it is already done Painting water is not easy, but it can be a quick step if done right. I made a blunder at the start, so it took me a while to control some damage. Initially, we need to wet the paper with clean brush and follow wet on wet technique. Now while putting down color on the wet paper, we need to make sure that our brush is not too wet or else we end up adding more color on the paper. This is exactly what I did wrong here multiple times. and so the paper became too wet and bulged because of which i couldn't control the flow of water and color at times i had to wait for the paper to dry or remove water using tissue the reflection in the water will always look darker than the object itself and will lie in a straight line below the object and finally adding some details in the overall painting with detailed round brushes details like shadows dark corners green and yellow reflections in the water or strokes of white for highlights keep on making such adjustments until you feel satisfied Thanks a lot for watching. Let me know your views in the comment section. Uh, see you in the next one.